Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon. So today I'm going to talk about um, UI Path Studio Web, basically. So we're just going to create simple project, just some validation tasks or something, and we'll go through the entire UI. So as you can see in this left panel, we can choose uh, UI Path Studio here. So just click on that, so you will land in this space. So if you can see here, you can see the list of projects available and I'm going to create one and this is if you have already developed uh, projects within using your UiPath Studio web you can just import them or drag the files here so let's create one so new project so let's go I'll give it as validations task validation not validation let's give it test one so if I go back so this is my the UI so studio design so if I go back here you can see this is um, the test I mean the project which I recently created and you can see the time as well 1303 sorry 1503 so if you can click on this you're loading your workflow in the meantime for you okay so we wait for a few minutes yeah we got this so you can you can see we have a undo or redo run run step by step and we can publish this to our orchestrator and this is where we can create a variable and arguments and this is where we can see our output panel the our results of the flow let's minimize this now let's uh i'm just going to create a simple project saying that we'll assign we'll assign some value on c log it based on the condition so let's say so here you can see there are different connectors as well amazon bamboo hr cisco google so we have pretty good connectors now so to assign in the studio we have uh, assign activity right so i mean in this studio web we have set variable set variable it is called set variable you can see so you will end up in this activity so let's create a variable go oh, yeah. here use a variable if you have a variable you can use this or uh, save as a variable so create one so let's say integer int and the global and it's hopefully global and i'll choose it as a number and i'll create so can default value can be five you also can give use variable because any variable if you are available so if you can use this just as any value as five now you can see the variable this assigned here you can see as in you can always change the values here so variable span now let's try to add another if condition if So let's say I need to have a kind of, uh, I need to write a condition based on the this variable. So I'll click on this plus icon. So I'm going to use, say use variable. So I'm just going to use this, and the condition is so let's go by and open expression. So condition builder here int if it is greater than or equal to five so greater than five can also use another uh, different condition different type different conditions and based on the operators and or, or so i'm not going to use that now so great int is greater than five then we let's log as we can have a log message call log message here so message in the studio we used to write as double quotes right so we can't do that here so we just can go here and use the text builder saying um, greater than greater than five and the log level is in four um, in four. So let's copy this 
I'll put it in else block as well. As you can see, so whenever you click on this, there is already a copied uh, activity, right? You can just click on the insert, hit insert. So it is greater than five. Yes, it's not. It's not. It's less than. Less. It's less than, less than five. Okay. So let's run this flow. You can see the outputs here, so run outputs, it's running now. So agent initializing this agent basically. So as you can see in the these are all the check green marks. It's less than five. Oh yeah, so we have an it's uh int is less than greater than five, right? So let's go and condition put a greater than or equal. So integer is greater than or equal to five. We run this. Let's see. Test one execution start where is greater than five, and test one execution ended. So that's it. So in the next um, the next session, I'll try to create a more complex and flow, uh, medium intermediate. So let's see. Thank you guys.